Hello, my name is Gabby and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. So I put out a video last week that was called Popular Books That I Haven't Read Yet, and I mentioned when I was talking about The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas in that video that I'm not the biggest contemporary reader in the entire world. And don't get me wrong when I say that, because I've had a lot of contemporaries that I've loved, but I do tend to prefer fantasy and sci-fi, it's just something I get more excited about. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to talk about some contemporaries that I am actually very excited to read when the time comes. So what I did when I was picking these books is that I went over to my contemporary shelf and I picked up five books that I am one, most excited to read out of all the books on that shelf, and two, probably will not be talking about for a while on this channel, unless they get read sometime soon. Another thing that I wanted to mention real quick is that the Hate You Get by Angie Thomas would probably be in this video, but since I literally just talked about it, I said that it's just gonna sit this one video out, but we can consider it like an honorable mention. Also, one last thing, there's no particular ranking to these books. As per usual, we're just gonna go in alphabetical order. So the first book on this list is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. So this book follows our main character, Eliza, who is kind of an outcast in her everyday life. However, online she is the creator of a very popular webcomic. We also follow Wallace, who is the biggest fanfiction writer for Eliza's webcomic. One day, Wallace transfers to Eliza's school, which begins to change Eliza's offline life. However, everything falls apart once Eliza's identity is shared with the entire world. So this book gets compared to Fangirl a lot, which is one of my absolute favorite contemporaries, although it has been a really long time since I've read that one. But I do have a very strong feeling that it would still hold up if I read it again today. I also get very strong radio silence vibes from this which is another one of my favorite contemporaries. Actually, that one is just one of my favorite books out of everything, but still. And because of those two comparisons, I do have a really good feeling about this book. Like, I feel like I'm really going to love it. I'm also just really excited to see what the author's take on this plot is going to look like. I'm hoping this one makes me feel all of the same feelings that Fangirl and Radio Silence made me feel. And I'm also just really interested to see how this one holds up for me with those two. Which isn't really fair to this book, but at the same time, I've heard really good things, so it has its chance. So the next book is Happily and Madly by Alexis Bass. So I actually don't know too much about this book. I knew I had to read it as soon as I read the back of it. And that was really all I needed at that moment to know I needed to read this. But I did glance at the inside cover real quick, and it does say that in this book we follow our main character Maris, who has been told two things her entire life. One, that she will happily fall madly in love with someone, and the second thing is that she will be dead before her 18th birthday. So this book just sounded very twisted and complicated, and overall just really interesting. So that combined with the cover of this book, I'm honestly surprised I didn't read it the second I brought it home. But I really want this book to be read at a beach for some reason, but I definitely may just have to give up on that dream unfortunately, and just settle for like a nice summer day or something. I'm also pretty sure that this book has like a forbidden romance thing in it. And that does tend to be something that I get very excited to read along with like star-crossed lovers. Like I love that stuff. So hopefully this book does that well too. And the next book is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. So this book follows our main character Brie who wants to become one of the greatest rappers of all time. As her father was an underground hip-hop artist who died right before he got popular. However, her life at school and also her life at her house isn't the greatest and she pours all of her frustrations into her music, which then goes viral on the internet, but for all of the wrong reasons. Then the problems her family is facing become even worse when they are served an eviction notice, so Brie making it as a rapper is not only just a dream now, but it is essential. I want to read this book so bad, but I am making myself read The Hate You Give first, since I'm pretty sure that one came out before this one. And that's just the way I want to do it, but I've heard so many good things about this book, and the plot just really interests me. And I have such a strong feeling that I'm just going to love and obsess over this. I'm sure I'll do that with The Hate You Give too. But this is definitely the one that I'm like using as an award for myself for when I finally get The Hate You Give read. Which overall just makes me more excited to read this book because then it'll mean that I read and love The Hate You Give first. <laughs> and the next book is Stay Sweet by this author here. So this book follows our main character Amelia who works at an ice cream shop is there she's developed a very strong sisterhood with the other girls that work there. But then one day the grand nephew of the founder of the stand comes to take over the business. And this guy basically upends everything Amelia's ever known relating to her life at the stand. This book just sounds so cute. 
And I've been holding off on this one once again because I really just want to read it during the summertime. I have a ton of cute contemporary romances on my shelf just waiting for summer to come because that's usually the time when I just want to sit down and read something fluffy. And out of all of those books, this is the one I'm most excited for. And this book just screams fluffy and adorable for me. I mean, just look at it. Look how happy she is. I wish I was that happy. So another thing is that I definitely don't always have the best track record with loving book couples. But I'm hoping I just get past that for this book. Because I've built this book up in my head with just so much positivity. Which is probably not a good sign, but anyway. I definitely don't want the positivity I feel when I look at this to be like clouded if I end up not liking it. But I just really think I'm going to. And the last book on this list is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This book follows our main character, Olive, who is the very unlucky twin sister. Her twin sister is getting married and she has to spend the entire wedding with the best man but also her mortal enemy named Ethan. And at this wedding, everybody but Olive and Ethan get food poisoning and then there's the free honeymoon that they can go on. So these mortal enemies are basically forced to play newlyweds and the story goes from there. So this book really excites me because it's going to be one of my first ever adult romance novels. I think Red, White, and Blue is the only other book that I've read that may qualify for this genre. I don't know. I don't know genres too well. But if it does qualify, then that is a book I had a really great time with. A great enough time where it made me want to try other adult romances. Which does make me nervous because, like I said, I don't always have a lot of luck when it comes to book couples. And when it comes to romance novels, if I don't love the couple, then that's going to suck really bad. But this one has just gotten so much praise and love throughout the entire community that I feel like I'm definitely going to like it. And I'm just really excited to give this genre another try. And it's also really exciting because maybe it will open me up to reading other books from this genre as well. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and answer the question that'll be around here if you want to do that. And hopefully I'll see you here next time. Bye!